What's going on you guys? Today's video is sponsored by Red Bull Energy Drink. Today's video is sponsored by Sims Beef Jerky. Apparently, they make more than rain gear. Well, good morning you guys. I woke up with the full intention of getting out here and fishing, and now it's raining. Uh, it has been raining all morning long, and it looks like I may have the smallest little break in the weather sometime this afternoon. And this is very frustrating. This is uh, one of the reasons why I haven't been able to put out good consistent videos lately because it's either raining or it's been blowing 15, 20 mile an hour and that doesn't make for good fishing conditions, I can tell you. Now the spot that we're going to is one that I haven't been to in over a year. I had a lot of success in this area last year. Uh, this type of spot is very similar to the spot I fished in the very last video. Now I have some artificial stuff that I normally throw but I'm also gonna bring some cut mullet into the mix. We're gonna be targeting these redfish on the lower tide stages. And man, I tell you, this cut mullet is like throwing candy down there to them. So uh, I'm interested to see if it, uh, if it works. It worked for me very, very well last year. So enough talking, I got another 20 minutes behind the steering wheel. So I'll see you guys out on the water. I'm condemned, I'm condemned, all my heart is on the mend. Nobody gives a damn about me. You can tell me that you love me till your little lungs turn blue But I'm always alone when I fall asleep And the girls that walk downtown are like some stars that fell to earth They like the veins in my arms and the story in my hurt and the boys, they always tell me that my words get them by They can tell how much I mean it by the bloodshot in my eye Catch fish? Yeah. Oh, a little red. There you go. First little red on the board. Oh boy. Got nowhere to go but up from there. Mark's throwing that popping cork with a, the slam shade. Looks like he got about two, two and a half feet a liter. And just drifting that line nice and slow. I think there's a rot. Yeah, fish on, baby. <laughs> Good eye, Mark. <laughs> of course. Of course, we gotta. Okay, we're good. Well, the cut mullet paid off with a circle hook. Mark looked back here and just saw the rod barely moving and bumping around. And he's on there. I think it might be a big red, it's just not woke up yet. Yeah, it's a nice red there. I'll boat him. Hey, baby. Oh, beautiful, beautiful blue tail. Nice spot. I'm just gonna let her get a little bit tired. Let me see that hook. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good hook set. Beauty, 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 beauty. That circle hook right in the corner of the mouth. What a great hookup! Nice and blue. So, unpinched 25 inch. What do you think, Mark? Good fish, man, huh? All right. Off you go, baby. Let me show you guys the rig. This is uh, easy fishing here. This is just a little knocker rig set up. Just throwing something back behind the boat. Soaking a half of mullet. 
This is a uh, three aught circle hook with um, about an ounce and a half egg sinker. Uh, tied on this looks like an FG knot, and that's probably about a 30 or 40 pound leader. Feels kind of thick, and that's it. No bead. Um, you could put a, a, a glass bead right here if you want to. I don't think it's a it's a game stopper, um, but that's it. We just hook that mullet on there, throw it back there around some of the structure, and just wait for the redfish to kind of pick up that stinky mullet. And there you go, 25 inch redfish on the board. So we were actually doubled up and didn't even know it. Yep. All right, let's get another one back on. All right, so here's all we're doing. We're just taking some frozen, frozen mullet. These are about a five inch finger mullet here. Pack them down. Circle hook, I'll just hook him like I would a normal, normal mullet for the head. Just kind of go right through. Or a live mullet. Just hook him right through here, just like that. That's it. You're going to get a lot of the oils and stuff from this mullet here. And what you can do is you can kind of stab into his head just a little bit. So as he thaws, because he's still kind of frozen, I'll just let out a little more of that oil and brain fluid and all that junk and gunk. You know, junk and gunk. All right, so we got the cut mullet back out soaking. And I'm going to throw around this little uh, shrimp, just a little cut off tail shrimp Z on a Texas eye. I've cut him down to about two and a half inches. I got him all procured up. There goes the dolphin. <laughs> There's another one under the boat. Gee whiz, guys. Like a German submarine coming through here. Wow. Holy cow, they were in a hurry. Scare me to death. I get spooked easy. So, like I was saying, I'm just gonna pitch this thing around and wait for this guy in the back to go off. Uh, this is one of my spots that I fished um, a while back. I haven't been out here in a while. Um, I invited Mark out on the boat. We got a little break in the weather, so we just decided to hit this. We're getting kind of close to the low tide. I like to target these redfish in low tide in some of these areas where we have a lot of down structure and whatnot and these down trees and, and whatnot because it, it provides um, less water to have to deal with, right? So the fish are more concentrated. And it, we seem to be working so far so good. It is raining on us. We've been getting rain on all kind of off and on throughout the day. But we'll fish out here for a couple hours and see what happens. But this is not a bad little spot to catch fish. Good to see that the fish are still here after not being here for about a year or so. And I'm glad the dolphins are gone. They're up there just having a blast. So I got a buddy named um, Blake that runs Guide to Georgia Outdoors, G2GO. Um, it's what his channel's called. It's a really good channel. You guys ought to go over and check that out. Um, but he does a lot of uh, reviews on camps and parks, and he's got some fishing uh, videos which he's got a really funny fishing video actually of his, one of his good buddies actually fell in on a trip. Um, he does a lot of hunting stuff. Anyways, he made a comment in my last video. Dan's first redfish, excited. Dan's 10,000th redfish, still super excited. <laughs> There's just something about it. You got here and I catch these redfish, man, I'm like a kid. I get excited, it doesn't matter. Oh, if I can just get one to hit my shrimp, I'll be happy. Yeah, baby. Yeah, there's a fish on. He's swimming around with it again. actually has another hook in her mouth. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see that other line right there. It's two lines. Let's get over here and play doctor. 
All right, baby, let's grab a quick measurement on you. Lay down, relax. 25 inch unpinched. This is another beauty. You think? Yeah, beautiful. All right, baby. I know you got fight in you. There's two big ones. Still there, he didn't need it. And the lens is clean, how about that? Look at me over here multitasking. Catching fish and keeping the lens clean. Dude, this little dial was, is, uh, is nice. On the seven foot six rod, it's doing a great job. They all seem to be uh, away from the, uh, that bank. There we go. Well, we've caught, pulled two big 25s out of that spot. I might as well cast up in there. I don't know, man. There's just something about catching a fish with a circle hook versus a jig. You know, like, I love that rah! That hook set, zzz, that yank, the immediate fight, that just kind of feels like I'm, I'm, I don't know. Yeah, they're all over that stinky, stinky cut mullet. I'm just gonna try to replicate it with stinky sh shrimp goo. Just get one of them to slurp this up. Oh, there we are again. <laughs> That's a big one. He's been pulling the rod over. This would be a bigger fish, or just a better fighter. Taking me now. I oh, don't know, about the same size. I'll tell you, Mark, that little trick's working where we pretend to release the redfish and then we put him back on the hook, throw him out there. <laughs> my good buddy Eric thinks that's what I do in my videos. <laughs> he said, he came up to me one day at work and said, You know what, Dan, me and my wife, we got you figured out, buddy. And he said, that's what I do. Eric, that is not what I do, brother. This is what I do. This is another good one, man. Well, I can't use that piece of cut mullet anymore. Because this guy is finally taking it. As soon as you're done. Wham! Not another proper redfish. Jeez, these are all 25, 26 inch redfish again. Got him with that circle hook. Perfect hook set. Don't, don't pay attention. Just play along with me, buddy. Beautiful hook set right in the corner of the mouth. Still got some blue on the tail. All right, let's get you back in, honey. There she goes. 